pharmacology trials are usually more complex than many other therapeutic area trials. Uh, for instance, uh, oncology trials require the collection of biomarkers, they are usually long-term trials, and on top of that they are usually accompanied by um, adjudication committees. challenges um, have been addressed by us and uh, we identified mitigation actions, uh, we identified ways to prevent those issues and challenges from happening again. Oncology drugs are frequently given cycle-wise and therefore there is uh, a standard process uh, in place that um, requires, more or less requires, that adverse events are also being recorded cycle-wise. And uh, when a new cycle starts, or when there's an interruption of the cycles, the adverse events need to be reported a second time, a third time, a fourth time, depending on uh, what happens to those adverse events that the patients encounter. Nobody knew what those cocktails really contained and uh, in some cases um, we had at the end of the study had to go back to the individual sites and ask the various pharmacists to provide us uh, information about the content of these various cocktails and document it accordingly. Of course that meant a lot of rework for data managers, it meant a lot of rework for medical coders and overall, the study and the study closure was delayed. Um, oncology trials, as we learned from these various uh, examples, are certainly different uh, compared to many other therapeutic areas. Now, what is it that we are going to do with uh, these challenges that we encountered and uh, which we do not want to encounter again in future studies or even in future projects? I personally think it is important to create a catalog or a library of those risks that uh, occurred, uh, the type of mitigations that one implemented and the overall experience that one made by addressing those challenges. We developed a risk assessment and categorization tool which uh, holds um, all the experience that um, we could get in a catalog or in a library that is accessible for future studies or is accessible even for future projects so that new teams, uh, new uh, project development teams do not have to uh, reinvent the wheel, but can uh, piggyback on what the uh, colleagues in the past encountered already and the solutions that they developed uh, for the uh, drug development in particular in the oncology area.